Okay, let's now talk about Mumbai and what may become an engineering marvel. The Mumbai Metro Railway Corporation plans to dig 170 meter long tunnels under Mumbai's Midhi River as part of Mumbai's Metro Lane 3. This will be India's second such project underwater tunnel for a mass transit project after the first tunnel was built for the Kolkata Metro. Now, authorities are using ton new tunneling technology and bringing in international experts to undertake this challenging project. Neha Kukarni has the report. Among Mumbai's web of metro works in the city, India's first underground metro line, the work is going out at full speed. Mira now does a ground check of the ongoing work, especially the second, India's second underwater tunneling bed that will happen, this work which has happened and already started in February this year. Right now we are present at BKC uh, station area wherein the station work has started which will also be one of the 27 underground stations. The, uh, uh, the picture which you are seeing right now is of the TBM machine that has gone inside for shafting uh, the metro line here. The entire stretch will connect Kolaba to seats and it will be worth around 33.5 km. As Mumbai's metro work moves ahead full throttle, spread across the city like a web, digging a 170-meter underwater tunnel under the Meeti River for laying the metro line may prove to be an engineering marvel. With more than 100 workers at site, engineers are using tunnel boring machines and new austral tunneling method to drill through the underbed of the river. In India's second underwater tunneling project being executed on Metro 3 line in Mumbai, a new technology of infrastructure is going to be seen. This exactly is called the new Australian tunneling method being executed on the south shaft of BKC station. What is NATM exactly? This exactly is what the drilling work, the tunneling work that is carried out by the workers is identified as NATM being executed for the first time in any of the infrastructure projects in Mumbai. Before this, NATM has been carried forward in other metro projects of Delhi and Kolkata. The technology that we adopted for uh, supporting the ground around is the second pile. This gives us a fairly watertight structure when we excavate. Mm -hmm. When we go into the rock beneath, mm -hmm. we keep grouting the, any posts or any cracks that we find, we grout it. So when we go to the base, it's fairly watertight structure, so there is no risk to the safety of the worker. So we are starting our uh, tunnel boring machine from BKC end for this area. The machine will start from here, will travel all through this area and will reach up to Dharavai station. The second machine parallelly would start two months uh, later from this area and we'll come to this. Monsoons are expected to prove a greater challenge as engineers will have to constantly track air pressure and flow levels of the Meeti River. This project gets a lot of benefit to the city, environmental, social, a lot of benefits. Uh, the economic internal rate of return from this project is 18%. 14 lakh people per day would travel on this corridor. The project has already been delayed due to a series of reasons, including legal issues over the use of land at RA and increased number of trees being cut. Authorities are now hoping to complete tunneling by the end of 2019 and hand over the Metro Line 3 by December 2021. Almost 18 meters under the ground, Mira now did a ground check of what is soon going to be India's second underwater tunneling project for Metro 3 line, which remains a mass transit project. In another couple of months by August, this tunnel boring machine and the NATM would have soon went closer to the Meethi River of Mumbai. An underwater tunnel will be made under which the Metro rakes will pass soon for the Metro 3 line. Presently, what you're seeing is the BKC station that remains one of the 27 stations of the Metro 3 line being carried out at a cost of about 23,000 crores. This 53 kilometer rail line almost connects the south of Mumbai, Kolaba, to the north, almost going up to Seeps, which remains one of the major connectivity, uh, which, one of the major connectivity benefits for the citizens of Mumbai who have been used to traveling in trains or buses. One of the mixtures of technology, it definitely remains a mixture of the use of TBM along with NATM closely being monitored by officials as the monsoons come closer and they approach the Meethi River. 
definitely notorious for the kind of flooding it seems during monsoons. This science and this technology does remain interesting unless enough precautionary care is taken for as many as 80 to more than 500 workers working here at the site from different countries ranging from Thailand to China, all embalming coming together to make Metro 3 line India's first underground Metro 3 Metro line. With camera person Tushar, this is Neha Fumiranao from Mumbai.